Eric Dubose here with East Coast Sops. Gonna give you a little bit about reading batters and batters in their load and how we can attack them just by how they get their load. Uh, so how a guy gets in the box lets us know, gives us a lot of information on how we can attack him. So if the guy is right on top of the plate, we know that we can probably get him in because it's gonna be really hard for him to keep his hands inside and get the barrel to right there. If he's standing way off the plate, we know we may be able to attack him off the plate. Those are the simple ones. But when we have a guy that's starting out open and he's staying open, it's gonna be, if he hits the ball away, he's gonna have to be reaching for it. So we know that right there. If a guy starts out regular and when he gets his load, he closes off that front foot, we know we can bust him in because it's gonna be really hard from here for him to get his hips through and keep his hands inside. So when we see a guy that takes a good load, stays on line, stays in his legs, then we know we're gonna to have to go to work. Another thing to be watching for is if he does a high leg kick, if he's late getting his front foot down, if he's early getting it down and he's out front. All these things are valuable information on, for us as a pitcher that we see a hitter doing that gives us a way that we can attack him and we can get him out. So when we, a guy gets in the box, we're looking for information that the hitter may give us. Okay, so guys, pay attention when you're on the mound of how the batter is getting in the box, where his hands are, where his feet are, and how he's getting his load. Look forward to seeing you guys again.